Yep. If you had to choose to only eat food that originates from one of these regions for the rest of your life, what region would you choose? That's hardcore. That's a good question. But because I've lived all over. Um... What is up, LA TV Familia? My name is AK, and we are here today with the one and only Chef Aaron Adre. Happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. Chef Aaron, I'm so excited that you're, uh, well, I used to watch you on the Cooking Network all the time. And I was oh. just like, wow, a Latino on TV. You know, that's how special you are para la raza. Um, mm -hmm. But now being a judge on Master Chef and also for Master Chef Junior, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool because you were a young chef yourself, what distinguishes a Master Chef from others? Well, I, I mean, first of all, experience, I think, is the, the biggest part of it. Um, but also being able to be well versed in different kinds of cuisine and also pastry and, and, and all aspects of the kitchen. I think to be a master at something is a big title and a huge responsibility. So you have to be well, well versed, well traveled and also willing to learn as, you know, even me in my in my stage in my career, I'm always learning every day. You know, I work with Gordon Ramsay, who I find amazing and so insightful, and teaches me a lot of things every day. Like kind of remaining humble because we're always a student of life, right? Exactly. Yeah. I want to dive a little deep into something that you said in one of the most recent episodes yeah. because it stuck with me, and we'll talk about it. But the mm -hmm. line is, "It takes years to perfect the art of making tortillas." Can exactly. you explain that? Yeah, I mean, the tortillas is essential for um, how you're going to be judged, especially in a Mexican restaurant, right? So you come into a Mexican restaurant, you're going to expect the margarita be, to be bomb. You're going to expect the salsa and the guacamole to be on point. But the tortilla is something that's super ephemeral and something that's so um, representative of our culture. So the tortilla ain't rocking and rolling, and it's not, whether it's a flour or a corn tortilla. And now they even have like this hybrid where you can have half tortilla with flour and half, you know, corn. So, but it's that idea of that, that simplicity of just taking a tortilla and passing it into a little bit of salsa and, and having that sort of experience, which really takes you back to roots. I think it also has to say a lot for like Mexican cuisine in itself that a lot of people tend to overlook it or it's not, you know, it's not recognized like, oh, a French cuisine or that. But the tradiciones and the utensils that our people use are actually part of like the art of making the cuisine, right? Like el molcajete and la tortillera, like it's all an art. Sí, como no, no es cierto. Y este, you know, what I, I, I always suggest to everybody to go is go to a mercado in LA or wherever you're at and watch the señoras do it. You know, go to Ball Heights, go to East LA, see these wonderful señoras, you know, make all the food in front of you and then you really have a great perspective. And then if you're, if you're blessed enough to have your grandmother, your abuela, your abuelo still living, film them cooking because that's going to be something that you can hold on to forever. I always say it's a blessing and a curse to be a Mexican-American, to be raised with that Mexican influence, because now I feel like I can't eat a dish without some kick, without una salsa o tres, you know? <laughs> well, listen, out of curiosity, on the topic of spiciness, Chef Aron, is ketchup meant to be spicy? Uh, no. no, it's not. It's actually something that is just really basic tomato paste and, you know, and very subtle seasonings but if you want i'll give everybody a really quick recipe all right you just saute some onions garlic a can of chipotle and then put in ketchup into that and and puree it and you have a chipotle ketchup and you love it maybe a little taste a little bit of shot of vinegar but yeah. elevated ketchup chipotle ketchup, chipotle ketchup. now for this season of master chef Mm -hmm. United Taste of America. Mm -hmm. uh, the contestants are divided by four regions, right? It's West, Northeast, Midwest, and South. Yep. If you had to choose to only eat food that originates from one of these regions for the rest of your life, what region would you choose? That's our core. That's a good question. But because I've lived all over, um, you know, I, I grew up in the Northeast in New York, but then I live I live in the South now, which I, I consider my home and I don't want to go anywhere. And then I've also spent time in the West. So 
I would have to say, yeah, all day long, big flavor. We're talking Louisiana. We're talking the Carolinas. Oh, I mean, come on, Texas. Like, we got a lot of big flavor going on that keeps your palate engaged and makes you want to have a good bite. What would be like your top two dishes from that s southern region? Oh, well, I love, I mean, of course, gumbo because gumbo can be cooked in any way. And as far as another region that I really love, I don't know, I just love barbecue in all its different facets, you know what I mean? Because every piece of barbecue is different. You know, you go to the Carolinas, there's a mustard base, there's a vinegar based sauce. In Texas, we do beef. So there's a little bit of everything. So in Kansas City, you do ribs, so all that kind of stuff. You can never go wrong with a barbecue or carne asada. That's it's, just like... <laughs> yeah, it's like you make friends when you do that. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, if you can play soccer, you make another friend. You know what I'm saying? So it's like all that good stuff. And if you get to invited to a carne asada, you're special. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And also bring beer too. You know, right. what I mean? you know what I mean? And don't come empty handed. For people that are not Mexican, bring something always to a carne asada. That's you know what I mean? true. You know, maybe some homemade chile or a little salsa that you make at the crib. Bring that through, you know what I mean? Because that goes a long way. No, I just want everyone to watch MasterChef season 13. It's the United Tastes of America. It's going to be epic. And I hope everybody tunes in on Fox. You know what the deal is. Yeah.